The planet Mars has entranced humanity for thousands of years. Its blood red color and strange surface features have inspired mythology, literature, and science fiction about the possibility of life on the red planet. Now in the 21st century, Mars continues to fire our imaginations as NASA and other space agencies make concrete plans to send humans there for the first time. What will this journey be like? Today, we'll look at the immense difficulties facing any crewed mission to Mars. We'll learn about NASA's vision for using the moon as a stepping stone, and we'll explore the spacecraft, rockets, and technologies needed to turn science fiction into reality. Mars awaits the arrival of humans, but many challenges remain before we can achieve this monumental journey. Many wonder why we've not yet set foot on Mars despite having the technology to reach the moon over 50 years ago. The answer lies in the immense distance and dangers involved in a human voyage to the red planet. One monumental challenge is the astronomical amount of fuel required. Mars can be up to 250 million miles from Earth. Traveling this far means carrying vast amounts of propellant. For a six-person crew, NASA estimates needing between 850 to 1,250 tons of fuel for a single round-trip mission. That's over 15 times the amount needed for the Apollo moon landing. Launching all this fuel into space would require 10 or more launches of heavy lift rockets like the Saturn V. Developing the infrastructure to produce and launch this much fuel is a massive undertaking. New technologies like on-site propellant production on Mars could ease this burden. But fuel remains perhaps the biggest obstacle to sending multiple humans to Mars. Another hazard is the debilitating effects of prolonged weightlessness on astronauts. On the six to nine month journey to Mars, the crew would experience total weightlessness with devastating impact on their health. Bone and muscle loss could leave them too weak to function on the Martian surface. Humans have never spent more than a year in space, while Mars missions duration could easily exceed two years. Without artificial gravity, there is a real risk the crew would be too compromised to perform critical mission tasks. The rotation of the spacecraft could simulate gravity, but designing, launching, and assembling such a vessel is far beyond current capabilities. Medical treatment might reduce risks, but human biology did not evolve for deep space. Finding solution to weightlessness will be vital. Given the immense obstacles, how does NASA envision reaching the red planet with humans in the coming decades? The ideal alignment between Earth and Mars for launch happens every 26 months. This allows a total travel time of around nine months to reach Mars when the planets are the closest. However, the planets are moving targets, so engineers must calculate where Mars will be when the ship arrives months after leaving Earth. The travel time also depends on the speed and fuel efficiency of propulsion systems. Advanced ion engines could shorten trips to as little as three months for robotic crafts. But mechanical rockets are still needed for crewed ships. With currently available technology, NASA estimates total mission durations of just over one year for short surface stays on Mars. But longer durations exceeding two years open up more launch windows and allows more time on Mars for exploration. The long-term vision is to reduce total mission times to one year in duration. Achieving this will require major leaps in propulsion, such as nuclear thermal rockets. These can triple spacecraft velocities versus chemical engines by using fission energy. With sustained investments, game-changing propulsion could make quick trips to Mars a reality within a couple of decades. We've successfully sent many robotic probes to Mars since the 1960s. But how long were their journeys? Early Mars efforts like the Soviet Mars 1 took about 10 months to reach the planet. Later, Mariner and Viking spacecraft traveled over six months to enter Mars's orbit in the 1970s. 
the ill-fated British Beagle 2 lander hitched a ride on ESA's Mars Express orbiter and took just over six months to arrive at Mars in 2003. One standout in NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, which used an orbital assist maneuver to reach Mars in only 10 weeks in 2014. This is a record for the shortest journey to Mars so far. However, robotics can certainly take risks and don't require slowing down for entry and landing. The most recent NASA rover, Perseverance, launched in 2020 and followed a traditional 6.5-month cruise to touch down on Mars's Jezero crater. For human missions, engineers tend to assume longer transits near 9 months provide the most launch windows and mission flexibility. But technological advances could allow future astronauts to make the voyage at the same time that pioneering robotic explorers did. What once took our machines nearly a year in space may one day carry the first human travelers to Mars within a few exciting months. NASA's vision for the first crewed Mars mission involves extensive operations on and around the moon first. The Lunar Gateway Station will act as a deep spaceport for testing critical systems. NASA's powerful new rocket, the Space Launch System, will assemble mission components launched separately into lunar orbit. This includes a transfer vehicle to ferry a crew between the Gateway and a Mars lander. Multiple SLS launches will deliver the hardware supplies and fuel needed for the round trip to Mars. Gateway provides a stepping stone to gain operational experience in deep space near the moon before embarking on longer voyages to Mars. The Gateway forms the core of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a permanent human presence on the lunar surface in the next decade. Living and working on the moon will reveal engineering lessons for Mars exploration like using local resources to produce fuel, oxygen, and materials. Extensive lunar surface missions also evaluate technologies like autonomous rovers that will aid Mars exploration. After ferrying multiple crews to Gateway and the lunar surface, the SLS and Orion spacecraft will finally be ready for their ultimate goal, delivering astronauts to orbit Mars for the first time. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2025 and establish a sustained lunar presence as a stepping stone for the first crewed mission to Mars. Central to achieving this is the Lunar Gateway, a small space station to be assembled in orbit around the moon. Gateway will serve as a deep spaceport and way station for missions to the lunar surface and Mars. The first two components of Gateway, the power and propulsion element, and the habitation of logistical outpost, are slated to launch in 2024 and 2026. These blocks will allow a crew of four astronauts to occupy Gateway for over six months at a time. Gateway has a near rectilinear halo orbit that takes it within 1,000 miles of the moon's surface before stretching 40,000 miles away at its furthest. This highly elliptical orbit allows the station to access the entire lunar landscape while still requiring minimal fuel to maintain. For this strategic deep space perch, Gateway sets the stage for a sustained human return to the moon. The Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket will ferry crew and cargo between Gateway, lunar orbit, and the lunar surface. Artemis II in 2024 will take astronauts on a test flight around the moon. Then, Artemis III aims to land the first woman and the next man on the south pole of the moon using an orbital descent vehicle deployed from Gateway. Starting with Artemis IV, likely annual crewed missions will use Gateway as a command post. The astronauts will live and train on board the station preparing for descents to the surface using reusable lunar landers. These landers will initially be expendable models, but NASA plans to transition to sustainable, reusable spacecraft that can land and relaunch from the lunar surface. Living on Gateway for months in deep space will reveal crucial insights needed for longer voyages to Mars. 
the Lunar Orbiting Station provides a platform to test habitation modules, radiation shielding, closed loop life support systems, navigation techniques, communication networks, and other critical components of any Mars mission. Gateway also allows for evaluating the effects of prolonged exposure to reduce gravity on astronaut health and performance. Meanwhile, crews on the surface will learn to use the natural resources of the moon, harvesting lunar ice and regolith to produce water. Breathable oxygen and rocket fuel teaches us how to live life off the land. Developing lunar mining, manufacturing techniques, and infrastructure establishes skills to become self-sufficient on Mars. After a decade of launching missions to construct, live in, and operate gateway and reusable landers, NASA aims to have gained sufficient operational experience and capabilities for human Mars exploration. With the Lunar Gateway acting as a deep spaceport, the first crew can depart for orbit around the Red Planet. When the spacecraft carrying the pioneering astronaut reaches Mars, they'll use a proven technique to safely land. Up to 100 tons of landing systems and supplies will have been pre-deployed to the surface. The crewed ship will first enter Mars' atmosphere, protected by a heat shield that it will deploy a massive parachute to slow its descent, using small thrusters to steer towards the landing target. To gently touch down on the surface, the ship will use the proven sky crane system. This will lower the astronauts in a pressurized rover via tethers from a descent stage. Once detected on the surface, the cables are cut and the descent rockets fly away to crash land safely. This ingenious sky crane enabled the flawless landing of the one-ton Curiosity and Perseverance rovers on Mars. Scale it up, and the system can deliver a crewed rover to the surface with no issues. The astronauts will spend a year living on the rover as their home and exploring the alien landscape. When the optimal alignment occurs for Earth return, they will launch back home in the ascent vehicle left for them years earlier. After over two years in deep space, the crew will heroically complete humanity's first round trip to another planet. Mars awaits, and with sustained investment in technology and infrastructure this decade, we can achieve what once felt like a distant dream. The red sands of Mars will soon bear human thread as we expand civilization to distant worlds. Our journey to Mars has begun. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out our video, Something Weird is Happening to the Moon. Also, subscribe for more videos like this.